Scientists finally discovered a new way to travel 10 times faster than light. Uh, that's intriguing. Uh, let's go ahead and see where this video takes us. I have no idea how that would even be plausible because we generally cannot, at this very specific time, be able to um, you know, travel the, the speed of light you know, in the first place. Right? So, so, for example, uh, the speed of light is 186,000 miles an hour or roughly 300,000 uh, you know, kilometers an hour. Um, so 10 times that would be 3 million kilometers an hour or uh, 1.86 million miles an hour. What do you mean by that, guys? But either way, let's go ahead and jump into it immediately. Uh, let's see where this video takes us. This is coming from the channel Simply Space. Uh, let's do it. Faster than light travel still seems like pure science fiction, but uh, it yeah. could soon become a reality. Scientists have finally discovered a new way to travel at speeds 10 times faster than light. Other research teams have made amazing breakthroughs in warp technology. And in practice, this could mean that in just 10 or 20 years, we could have the first prototypes of spaceships capable of traveling enormous distances in ever shorter times. The scientists who will be the first to make faster than light travel possible can be sure of eternal fame. For a long time, warp drive was considered pure fantasy by some science fiction writers, but then serious scientists took up the idea since then, there has been a growing understanding that this drive is not a pipe dream, but can become reality, and soon. Several research teams around the world are now working on putting into practice a drive that sends matter through the universe faster than light. The state of the art is astonishing. In just a few years, initial ideas have developed so rapidly that experts expect the first real prototypes to be used in space travel soon. The starting point, the speed of light as the limit of space travel. Since the dawn of modern physics, the speed of light has been considered the absolute upper limit for any form of motion in the universe. Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity formulated a fundamental rule in 1905. Nothing with rest mass can move faster than light in this universe. This limit is not just a technical hurdle, but is deeply embedded in the structure of space-time. The closer an object with mass gets to the speed of light, the more energy is needed to accelerate it. In theory, this means that accelerating to the speed of light would require an amount of energy approaching infinity. And that's not possible with our current technology. From a purely physical point of view, this rule initially made the idea of interstellar travel, as described in science fiction novels and films, impossible. The speed of light in a vacuum is approximately 299,792,458 meters per second. A ray of light therefore takes around 8 minutes to travel from the Sun to Earth, a distance of approximately 150 million kilometers. On a cosmic scale, this enormous speed seems almost meaningless. Light from our Sun takes does, over 4 years meaningless. to reach the nearest star system, Proxima Centauri and over 100,000 years to cross the Milky Way. Space okay. travel as we know it today moves at only a fraction of that speed. Even the fastest probe, the Parker Solar Probe, would take over 70,000 years to the fly Parker to the- Parker Solar Probe is faster than Voyager? Hold on guys, I, don't, I know Voyager moves at about 38,000 miles an hour. Let me go and do some research. Fastest probe, the Parker Solar Probe, would mm -hmm. take over 70,000 years to fly to the nearest star. This reality has long confronted us with a sobering oh, fact. Parker Solar Probe, uh, 430,000 mi miles an hour. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Our current technology does to see not something allow here, us any serious prospect of interstellar exploration within human lifetimes. Even with the most ambitious conventional propulsion systems, reaching the nearest star systems remains a matter of centuries or millennia. Physics has long set hard limits, but it's precisely this challenge that a new generation of scientists has taken up. Okay. Engineers and visionaries believe that the limits of physics can be overcome. I think anything can probably be overcome with enough uh, insight and information. Keep in mind, we're just exclusively going off of the theory of relativity, um, basically. We're basically just following Einstein's work here, guys. Uh, I'm sure within the next, bro, 100 years, everything that Einstein said would basically be debunked. You get what I mean here, guys? I think that's just how uh, innovation and overall education kind of works here, guys. Um, 
But looking at this here, for some reason, I don't know how I didn't, I never researched the Parker Solar Probe. I've never looked at it. Never heard its name before, never done any of these things. But apparently, if it has a maximum speed of 430 miles, 1,000 miles an hour, then it absolutely is moving faster than light. So if that's the case, then we're already in some type of FTL travel uh, type of, um, you know, environment. The necessity why faster so than light travel ten times is more makes sense. than fantasy. Actually, At first glance, the idea of traveling faster than light may seem like an entertaining thought experiment from science fiction. Okay. The idea is fascinating, but beyond the realm of possibility and probably unnecessary, right? Upon closer inspection, however, it becomes clear that faster than light travel is more than just a fantastic idea from movies or books. It would be a necessity if we as a species want to survive. There is not a single planet in our solar system that we could colonize as an alternative home if conditions on Earth one day become uninhabitable. Okay. Warp drive and faster than light travel could then become essential keys to the survival of human civilization. Humans are explorers. The desire for interstellar exploration and discovery of the universe is clearly evident in our science fiction ideas. We just encountered a contradiction, guys. Or ordinary people who dream of this. The problem is that, guys, if something happens to the planet and we're like, well, we got to go somewhere else, right? If the, if the situation is not like perfect for us, then we're going to have to, for the most part, terraform. Right. Basically, I'm sure we'd all agree that we're going to have to terraform uh, wherever we go to make it suitable for, uh, you know, us, let's say. But if we can do that, we can do that here. So why, where are we going, bro? Like you I understand that. Just think about that deeply for a second here. If we have the ability to terraform another planet to make it suitable for us, then we can, in fact, do the same thing for us here. All right. So why are we leaving? But all right. Scientists also dream of one day exploring distant worlds, cosmic nebulae, and other regions of the universe. Earth-like planets such as Proxima Centauri b or the TRAPPIST-1 system, which has several Earth-like planets, yeah, are only a few Trappist light years away. And yet, intriguing. the distance is unreachable with today's technology. Right. With faster-than-light travel, exploring these worlds would be feasible. The problem, why faster-than-light travel was considered impossible. The theoretical and practical obstacles to faster-than-light travel have long seemed insurmountable. Scientific limitations have so far relegated the topic to the fringes of physics or to philosophy and pure fantasy. Impossible, said the old heads of science. Possible, said a few visionaries and exceptional... Bro, did you just call them old heads? ...researchers, such as mathematician Miguel Alcubierre. Achieving the speed of light in a vacuum with conventional propulsion systems may be impossible. Einstein's limit is a universal limit, but the formula describes only one dimension of reality. We are in an age in which quantum realities are gaining importance. Classical physics is reaching its limits, and right. aspects such as antimatter, dark matter, and exotic forms of energy mm -hmm play just as important a role in physics as the classical ideas of matter and i yeah guys i've definitely noticed that a lot of like peer reviews are starting to come out kind of referring to like string theory i find it intriguing guys i do watch i do look at all like a lot of scientific reports on you know, like a regular basis i kind of read them in my spare time right i'm not saying you guys should i just do it i'm a nerd guys i don't know right so I, i've noticed that a lot of people starting to talk about string theory more so so i, I do agree with what this guy just stated here um there are people there's a, a gigantic amount of uh I guess thought being put into a lot of things that we have once thought were completely fictitious. Um, but it's limits. a lot of quantum and aspects such field as theories, dark matter, and exotic forms of energy play just as important a role in physics as the classical ideas of matter and Einstein's set of rules governing the interactions of forces. These new forms of physics open up new possibilities and energy relationships. An object with mass can also move through the universe in ways other than overcoming classical space-time with the help of fuel, power, and thrust. To actually reach the speed of light in Einstein's world, an infinite amount of energy would be required. But in the world of quanta and exotic forms of matter, space-time can be manipulated. Correct, be a spaceship would then slip through a fold in space and time, and in this way, humans would not be exposed to the effects of acceleration. Phenomena such as time dilation, light or the radiation, length contraction, and relativistic mass increase would not occur. 
like the limited paths. Guys, the limitations of our bodies wouldn't be able to, like, we wouldn't be kind of soaking in all the radiation at the same rate that we, you know, would if we, the further we get out, guys. No longer mathematical If we could just fold space. But experimentally time. confirmed phenomena. If a human being in a spaceship in the universe of classical physics were to move faster than light, causal relationships could be reversed. These events could bizarrely appear to wipe out their own causes. This so-called causality paradox calls into question not only logic, but also the stability of physical systems. Alternative concepts, such as creeping through space-time using warp mechanics, circumvent old problems with new ideas, and advances are delivering ever more fantastic forms of propulsion. The original calculations for the Alcubierre drive still required elements such as exotic matter with negative energy density. Now, there are already practical ideas that do not require any exotic forms of matter at all. Okay. The models are not yet realistic on a large scale. I can Many imagine. models show instabilities, uncontrollable energy fluctuations, or even the risk that the drive could trigger a catastrophe in the space-time structure. Despite these weaknesses, interest in solutions is greater than ever, and there are probably several secret projects working on solutions worldwide. We can be sure that the scientists at SpaceX are working on the problems, and NASA also has strictly protected scientific areas that are said to be feverishly working on technologies for space-time distortion. The Solutions, three very real models for warp drive. Okay, let's go. Despite all the physical hurdles, the idea of warp drive has undergone an astonishing development in recent decades. The path from a pure science fiction idea to a mathematically sound theory has been rapid. At the heart of all new ideas is always the same principle. It's not the spacecraft that moves through space, but space itself that is distorted. Warp means to distort, and through this restructuring of space, a spaceship can slip through the complex space-time structure of Einstein's physics, which ultimately means that Einstein's physics is circumvented. Three completely new concepts now suggest that travel through time folds may soon be possible. Let's take a closer look at the Alcubierre drive. In 1994, the Mexican researcher proposed the first functional model for faster-than-light travel based on the general theory of relativity. His idea was a space-time bubble surrounding the spacecraft, within which no actual movement takes place. The space in front of the ship is compressed, while the space behind it expands. In this bubble, the ship could apparently travel faster than light without violating the theory of relativity. However, the model requires immense amounts of so-called exotic matter with negative energy density in order to remain stable. And this energy has its pitfalls. To this day, we do not know for sure whether it exists. Related to this is the concept of- So basically the like, you know, dilithium in, in Star Trek. The Neterio drive which is a modification of the Alcubierre model. Neterio dispenses with the expansion and compression of space and instead focuses on a geometry of space displacement. The structure through which the spacecraft slips is different, but the energy requirement is solved in the same way, namely through exotic forms of energy that have not yet been sufficiently researched. Among experts, the Neterio drive is considered mathematically more stable, but still as impractical as the Alcubierre drive, simply because there is no access to the chosen form of energy. Things get exciting. So everything is all theoretical, guys. With Harold G. White's model. The NASA researcher and head of an experimental laboratory for advanced propulsion in Texas proposed an adapted warp concept with much lower energy requirements in 2021. Through further clever geometric adjustments to the warp bubble, the negative energy required was reduced to a few hundred kilograms. White found a real-world application for a warp bubble that occurs naturally. While experimenting with the Casimir effect, White discovered warp-like structures in the nano range. These real and natural warp bubbles are only fractions of a millimeter in size in reality. But if the system exists on a small scale and in a natural way, it could be transferred to larger to scales, much larger which is exactly what White's yeah. team is currently working on. Okay. This does not give us a functioning propulsion system, no. but it's promising proof that Theory. the warp concept actually exists in nature and that it's possible to access it. Thanks to this discovery, warp geometries are no longer purely hypothetical, but have become real and tangible. 
Let's move on to the latest discovery by a German research team. In 2024, a research team at the University of Potsdam worked on simulating gravitational waves using warp propulsion concepts, and the results could truly open a new chapter in theoretical physics. In complex computer simulations, the scientists investigated how space-time distortions, such as those that a hypothetical warp drive would generate, would appear in gravitational wave patterns. The idea behind this was that we could find traces of warp bubbles created by other species in the universe, for example, in observatories such as LIGO. If we had the pattern, we could replicate it. The signatures could also come from natural warp bubbles, such as those experienced by the team led by researcher White in the Casimir effects. The Postum team has thus provided a methodological approach for virtually copying futuristic propulsion systems. This would allow us to simply copy our progress from superior species. The future, visionary outlooks okay, on bro. interstellar space travel. Despite the progress made, the first real warp spacecraft is still pure fiction. Yeah, guys, that definitely leaned pretty much heavily into the Fermi paradox. Uh, let's say uh, pretty much, right? Uh, and maybe the maybe also the the dark forest theory, also in terms of other other beings. Let's say, uh, I think it's a good mix of these two things exp exclusively. I do not think that we are going to be able to even see anything if we look hard enough, guys. I think that they that if they exist, they're going to be so advanced that there really is no way to even monitor them because they're past they they have surpassed our existence, guys. All right, they just don't want, they they do not want to be found because most likely there's something out there scarier than them. You get what I'm saying here, guys? While we're broadcasting, everyone else is like, "Are you guys an idiot?" But scientists are optimistic. We could have the first prototypes in 10 or 20 years. More and more physicists, engineers, and even space organizations consider access to the structure of space-time itself to be more realistic than classic types of propulsion. Advances in the interpretation of relativity theory and quantum mechanics will greatly advance our space travel in the coming oh, well, years. Eventually. The basic idea that space is not fixed, but can be shaped, stretched, and compressed could enable space-time architectures that produce much more than just spaceships. Along with this, we will understand more about the structure of the universe and our possibilities as humans within it, and perhaps rise to become a super species. The long-term implications would be fantastic. Travel to star systems in a matter of days or hours, interstellar communication via space-time channels, new forms of energy generation, and possibly even access to new physical states and changes in reality. Okay, huh. My, guys, listen, so I am definitely like a nerd when it comes to like outer space type of things and physics in general, right? But I'm telling you this right now, I have never heard of this Parker Solar Probe, all right? It's been a while. I, like, I mean, most of my, uh, I say, knowledge regarding it would be probably, you know, 2010s and, you know, slightly before. So a lot of the newer stuff that's out here, I mean, I follow JWST, obviously, I think many people uh, probably have. Um, but other than that, I don't really pay much attention about what's going on. Last, again, to my knowledge, the fastest thing that was that's kind of been out there has been Voyager 1. Uh, but now we've come to find out that apparently we broke the speed of light. You know, that's intriguing times like 2.2 maybe or so guys that's 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 beautiful to find out and the fact that i know that that's a thing now ah uh, what i don't see how 10 times is going to be that you know that much harder just you know 10x the build on, on what we did before i would think that that'll probably do it guys that'll probably do it but all right listen guys let me know in the comments what you guys think uh you guys all have an absolutely amazing day enjoy your day thoroughly mm -hmm.